So the Detroit Lions have, they got five sacks against the Green Bay Packers. They got seven sacks against the Atlanta Falcons. They have 12 in their last two games for a total of 13 on the season. Hutchinson has stepped up after we were just talking about him two after, after the Seattle game. Like, where is he? Now we come along to week five. The defensive line has been dominant. You know where I stand on this. I want to know where you stand on it. The trade deadline is coming, and we've discussed in several videos that the, should the Detroit Lions be buyers at the trade deadline? And I've expressed my opinion that I think that is a yes. Now, the three wide receivers that we might have had our eye on from Devontae Adams, Mike Evans, and T. Higgins, they all sustained substantial injuries yesterday that could keep them out multiple games. So I think that kind of throws a fork in that a little bit for either one of those guys, with Evans being probably the most realistic choice. So I'm going to shift now to a defensive player. Should the Detroit Lions make a move for one of these two players? You have Brian Burns on one hand. And what did we want to happen? The Detroit Lions play the Carolina Panthers in week five. We're going to win. I'm confident, not cocky, but I'm, I'm confident we're going to pay them back for last year and also take out the frustration from Seattle on the on Bryce Young. He's going to get he's in trouble back there. So that points me to their star defensive player, Brian Burns, Agent Zero, like my homie likes to call him. Or then you have the other side. Two weeks ago, we were hearing Washington Commanders are 2-0. They're not trading Chase Young. Well, that changed mighty quick. Now they're 2-2. Two and two. Now they're just average. The Washington Commanders are just average. Which of the two of those individuals would you want? Now, I have no stats pulled up on these either one of these players. I don't think Burns got a sack or Chase Young got a sack. I think they're pretty – I know Burns had five going into game three, I think, and Chase – didn't play game one, I think got a, a sack and a half game two. So do you think we could use a defensive line player? And do you think it should be a DE or a DT? And who would you like it to be? All right, so we Man says Burns. Oh, okay, hold on. Let me see what this was. I forgot to say what the results were. Uh, I messed up. Okay, uh, Burns, 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 Burns. Okay, I don't know if y'all was here on Friday, but we talked about it in Friday's show. Burns is going to require a first round pick. Let's get a little, let's get a little freaky here. Okay, let's get a little freaky in, in this segment. All right, but but not that type of freaky. Okay. <sighs> This is not going to happen because the Carolina Panthers do not have a first round pick in 2024. And guess who got the first picks? The first two picks in the draft, the Chicago Bears. They're literally picking one and two right now. So I was going to say, let's let's introduce a 2025 pick. But the Carolina Panthers aren't going for that. And the Detroit Lions are going to be good for quite some time. So they're going to be picking the bottom third of the first round, right? That means for Brian Burns, you're going to have to give up a first round pick. It's going to have to be in 2024. Are you willing to do that? Then you have Chase Young on the other hand. Chase Young is probably going to get you a mid round pick. That's what I think. I think third, third, fourth, maybe third and then a conditional fifth or third and fifth coming up. Chase Young. Max Crosby, six sacks, Chase Young. I don't know. I've heard Max Crosby. I don't know what he's done this year. I need to look him up. Um, I don't want to give up a first for anyone right now. Carolina Panthers screwed up with the Young trade. Um, I don't think we're going to do that, Roman. Crosby is a Dan Campbell type of guy. Okay, so we got a, a, a late addition to the bunch. So let me, let me look up Max Crosby because he's somebody we haven't talked about, and then this will be our, we'll end the show after this. 
Let's look at his salary because I think that's going to make a difference. So Dan Camp, Max Crosby is a Dan Campbell type of guy. Why? Why is he a Dan Campbell type of guy? That's what I want to know. Okay, so Max Crosby. Now, I know a lot of you in the comment section. Y'all going to be like, we need to just stay, stay the course. We don't need to trade away anybody. And I hear you. I hear you. And yes, our general manager could be thinking that. I personally don't think he's thinking that. I don't. It's all from that press conference. I keep going back to that we're ready to compete. He's only trying, he's always trying to make this team better. The TJ Hawkinson trade at the time did not seem like it was going to make our team better, uh, but it did. It did make our team better because TJ is a hot mess. All right. So Crosby on the season has four sacks. What is his salary for the 2023 season? Let's find out. Contract. Well, all right, Max Crosby is, he just turned 26. Brian Burns is 25. Chase Young is 24, if I'm not mistaken. So then you have, he's the oldest of the bunch. You also have the, okay, here we go. All right, all right. I will give you my thoughts on Crosby after I bring this in. Okay. Let me get rid of that. I'm going to bring this in. And I'll give you my thoughts on what I think the Lions would do out of these three people. All right. We're going to read here. Max Crosby signed a four-year, $94 million contract with the Las Vegas Raiders, including a $13 million signing bonus, $53 million guaranteed, and an average annual salary of $23 million. .5. In 2023, Crosby will earn a base salary of $7,500 million and a restructure bonus of $10 million and a workout bonus of $100,000 while carrying a cap hit of $12 million and a dead cap value of $47,000. $47,000. Is that a typo? That's got to be. Wow. Well, maybe that came from the restructure. Okay. So here's why I don't think we would trade for Max. Because this year, you're talking about his salary right here. So I don't, I don't think we do that. But he just signed a mega deal. So we would, if we traded for him, we would have him for the next four seasons or the next three seasons. That's the only reason I could see us doing this, but I don't think we do it. I don't think we do it. He's the oldest of the bunch. Right now, Brian Burns have more production than him. He's younger. He has a higher, to me, a, a, I just think Burns have a higher selling than Max. So I know y'all like this dude, but I think, I think out of all of the, the scenarios, and I used the wrong trend transition. There we go. All right. So out of all the scenarios of those three, I think the most likely is Chase Young because the asking price for him is going to be in the mid tier. I think his contract next year is going to be mid to none. And I think, and then with Burns, you're going to have to pay him and you're going to have to give up some draft capital. So I think the most logical is probably Chase Young. I don't think Max is going to fit in uh, due to his salary, but he would be under contract for the next three years. Let me know your thoughts.